So Artem, welcome. As you as you notice, we're collecting stories that people have about Agile. And uh, you, of course, you're coming from Finland, I see here. And uh, maybe you have some stories with a slightly different point of view since you're across the water. So what we're interested in is stories you've had uh, about your Agile experience. You know, maybe something that amazed you about how it went or surprised you. Or So tell us a story. Well, about stories. I can tell you how it all started. You can tell us how it all started. OK, that's yeah. great. How it all started for me, of course. Yeah. Uh, that was, I think it was 2005. And uh, uh, I figured out that there is going to be some seminar in Helsinki. That's uh, like two hours train from the city where I live. And it's supposed to be on something called Agile and Scrum. And from quick Googling, it looked like, mm, yeah, might be interesting. Why not? And my boss was clever enough to uh, allow me go there if I, if I want. And uh, I went there. There was uh, Craig Larman, I remember. There was somebody from local reactor innovations and uh, Vasco Duarte from F-Secure. And they were telling about the uh, history of Agile, about Scrum, about uh, something related to that. And it kind of made sense. So have there been any puzzles, anything that you really uh, aren't sure about, you're still not sure about, about, uh, about Agile in your experience? Uh, yes, uh, there are things that I'm still uh, unsure about Agile. Uh, these are mainly uh, technical things. We say tools don't matter, uh, and they don't matter if you, if you are collocated, if you are really serious about, uh, uh, about making sense. Uh, but if you are, say, if you are distributed, if you have uh, external stakeholders, they don't really have time to visit, but still want to see the electronic form of uh, whatever you do. And uh, well, if your team members like electro electronic stuff because, uh, for example, because they come from research community, uh, then you do have to have uh, tool support and. Uh, Tools improved uh, during the recent years, and uh, nowadays I see that some tools are even better than Excel. That's uh, quite an improvement. Uh, but still, they're not perfect. Uh, the typical problem is that they have too many features. Too many features, right. <laughs> uh, of course, they miss a couple of uh, features that, that I really like. Uh, uh, but other than that, they have too many features. Uh, it, it can be confusing, overwhelming, it uh, stimulates uh, uh, simulate the use of the features that you don't really need and you don't really want it, you can, can easily get lost in them. It uh, starts reminding situation with Microsoft Word a little bit. Everybody uses just 5% of it, but different 5%. Exactly. But in the end, it's really about, more about common sense. There is nothing really new in Scrum, XP, uh, DSDM, Crystal, whatever. Okay, there, there might be some, some new small bits. But uh, the real new, new thing is uh, the focus uh, they bring to, uh, well, to set of practices that complement itself. The real thing about Agile is that uh, it gets people together and uh, asks them, come on, let's start thinking from the user perspective what the customer really needs and, and uh, let's accept that that, that uh, for example, requirements will definitely change. Let's accept that uh, despite our best in intentions and uh, effort, we cannot really capture what he wants, uh, partially because he doesn't know it himself. Yes. Well, that's all about common sense, and uh, if there would be in a couple of years more common sense, I would be happy. Yes. However, I'm not sure if it can be expected. <laughs> well, great. Okay, so thanks very much, Artem, and uh, thanks for your time today. Thank you very much.